YouTube, what is going on? It is your boy Jay Tizzle, and today I am bringing you another episode of World of Warcraft, the Iron Man Challenge. So this is episode number two of this series, and it's a series I'm really excited about. I just, I don't know, it's just, this game's so fun to play, and it's, it's just very calm, relaxing. There's not a lot going on. You don't have to worry about shooting or aiming or anything like that. It's just literally, I don't know, I like this game liked it a lot and that's why I've been playing it 10 years so uh, so we're level 10 I can see here we um doing the Iron Man challenge so we cannot upgrade our gear past white as you see I'm all white gear here you can't have any deaths so total deaths there is none there and um we have moved on to Westfall so as you see here Westfall wait trying to yeah Westfall right here so it's level 10 to 15 so we're gonna stay here till about level 15 and uh, my goal is I know it's tough to stay here for 10 to 15 but my goal is to stay here all the way through to that level before we move on to the next area it's just so we can kind of get the full experience of Westfall but let's get into it need help and let me know if you guys want me to act, read some of these quests. I'm thinking about doing a series after this where I go through and actually read these out and kind of do it, like act like it's a let's play. So we gotta speak to the various homeless people, yada yada. So Westfall has changed a lot since the game first came out. But all we're gonna do here is we gotta just talk to these guys. They're gonna want us to bribe them, so uh. Let's see if this works. No. Okay, doesn't work. Oh, I forgot I'm level 10, so I can do a talent. Well, not a talent, a spec. Not allowed to do talents, I'm allowed to do a spec. So let's do that. Here we go. I'm gonna pick discipline. Oh, I'm already disciplined. I think it def like by default does that, but yeah, discipline. Try talking to this guy. It's so annoying, like when they actually don't want to like, talk to you. It's kind of like real life, since I have no friends. All right, let's try just talking to them. Since how bribing them is not working. There's one clue. This is going to be fun. Discipline is just such a fun spec. It wouldn't let me talk to her for some reason. Oh shit, it actually says up there at the top. Wow, I'm a noob. I am a noob. It actually tells you at the top whether you, you have to give the money or not. I ain't telling you nothing. So, uh, yeah. Wow. I'm going to take the L on that one. What can I do for you? So we just got a belt that we are not allowed to use because it is a green item. And we also got these hot on the trail quests. By the way, I if you haven't seen the last episode of this, I did pick a server that is very, 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 very new. So there's not going to be a lot of people out here. There should be, even though it's kind of like cross plat. I, I know it's like cross server, but there shouldn't be a lot of people out here. So we're gonna get the clues from these guys. I might need to start playing this game heavy again. I forgot I have this power word shield. I 
We're gonna keep killing these guys until we find their their knoll. I'm gonna drop a little clue for us. I always like this mission just because it was uh, really easy to get quest like uh, XP off this simple quest that you can do, and it'll take forever just to find this one clue. But you get a lot of XP per kill. So there we go. We got it. That's not going to be as good as ours, unfortunately. Alright, now that we got that, now we're going to go down to the Murlocs, which we witnessed last episode. And we're going to go find their clue. As you can see, there's another ally character right there, and he's running around. He's just running around this coastline, pretty much killing all these things. So I might have to go a little further down. And this is what I was talking about, the cross realm. Even though that I'm on a very small realm, a lot of these guys will still find their way into my server just because it's cross. not mistaken I think these guys drop it fast or it might be the other way around no, I think they drop it fast yeah wait no that's a treasure treasure map I'll take that though free quest There we go, we got it. I had to go ahead and cut to that just because it was actually a lot longer than I thought it'd be trying to get all of those. But we also got this quest right here, the Captain Sanders treasure map. So let's go ahead and accept this. That's gonna want us to go over here. We'll do that later. And I'll cut to when I get back. All right, and let's turn these quests in and see how much XP we get here. We're already 74%. Let's turn it this one. This one makes us at 91. This one should level us. There we go. Please honor friend. This guy just kind of Don't stole him from me, but. All right, so level 11. Already. I remember watching my brother play this game for the first time and this was, I want to say this was vanilla. This one of the game was just in its beginning stages and I remember he was so hype about it because it, like the trailer, if you ever saw the trailer of this game, like for its time, it looked amazing. If you watch it now, you're probably like, wow, that's the worst trailer I've ever seen. But yeah, at the E3 trailer for this game was amazing and he was so hyped, so excited. I remember watching him play in Westfall for the first time. He probably was in Westfall like his whole vanilla career because I don't think he knew how to get out. I think he was like level 20 something in Westfall and they went to like 19 at the most. So he was just like running around at level 20 something not knowing where to go. Alright, so let's turn this in to Two Shoot Lou. We're going to have to use his old house to uh, disguise ourselves. Kill 12 cobalt diggers. All right. Now that we've got this griffin, like we've we've unlocked this flight master, I think I'm going to go ahead and fly to Goldshire because we're going to be able to turn in the hogger quest and that's going to give us a big chunk of XP. So I will cut to when we get there. And here we are in Goldshire. As you can see, they've done some decorating for the Halloween event going on. You know, over here, Bob for some apples. And then uh, we got little jack-o'-lanterns everywhere. And the headless horseman is flying around throwing fire on top of the town. So. What can I do for you? All right, so I still don't want to. Do I want to do this? I'm just gonna complete it. I don't want to do this part. Another pro World of Warcraft. Every single holiday they celebrate it. Every holiday. 
they have their own little events in game. That's something Blizzard does very well because they, you see them also do that with um, Overwatch. Alright, so we just turned in that, that quest and we're going to fly back to Westfall so we can continue over there. That gave us about 20%. How are you? Have a good one. And here we go, we're back at Westfall. So, sorry for jumping around so much, but there's just a lot of traveling going around, like going on. So, but I just need to uh, finish that one part right there and then we should be good to go. Actually, I gotta go grab this quest that's inside. That probably would be smart. And the whole point of me cutting around is just so you guys don't have to watch like a raw one hour gameplay. Cause I'm probably gonna be playing this for about an hour, hour and a half, so. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. I can't loot that right now. All right, here we gotta grab some fresh dirt and some coyote tail to make a mud pie. I think that's what it's called. I need to use power to shield way more. So I feel like that's gonna get me in trouble if I don't. Since I am a priest, I'm using cloth armor, and it's not going to give me a, an abundance of armor. It's going to be very easy to break through that. Got a little lag there. The internet here is very sketchy, dude. It's like... The apartment complex I currently live at has its own internet service, and it's, it's supposed to be like a thousand up, thousand down, which at times it is. But I am in college, and there is a lot of college kids that want to watch Netflix. They want to, you know, Netflix and chill, you know what I'm saying, do their own thing. So, uh, come around a certain time, I want to say around eight, nine o'clock. A little later than that, it starts to get weird on the internet side. I'll try to stream, and I'll usually get kicked offline instantly just because, I mean, they're, t they're hogging up all the bandwidth. So hopefully I can make some life changes and some moves here in, like, in the future. Alright, now we're going to make our way on over to the Jangalo Mine. Fun little story about this mine. If you've played World of Warcraft, you know about the Dead Mines, which is the first dungeon that, if you're an Alliance player, you run into. Before the old Raid Finder, or the uh, Group Finder thing. But... Jingle in mind, when I, like I said before, when I watched my brother play this game all the time, he would always hang out in the Jingle in mind because he thought that was the dead mines. He thought that was the the first dungeon. So he would go in there and kill all these mobs. And I remember like, I remember how excited he was. He's like, yeah, we're about to do the dead mines. And literally, he was just, he's just standing inside here. Nothing really special going on here. Just a bunch of these kobolds running around. They spawn really fast, so. on my power word shield. Can't use that, I'll grab it anyways. Reach the back, or almost the back. There we go. Now we have to uh, use two shoe Lou's old house to disguise ourselves. All right, we just finished that little part right there. All we had to do was sit there and wait in that little box for them to go through their little cutscene. It was not even a cutscene; it's just a little, little bit of dialogue. I don't even think, I, do I have dialogue on? Yeah, I have everything on. They just, they really don't say anything. That quest is so old, they don't say anything. 
something about this game that really made me mad is that Blizzard actually told there's a there's a YouTuber his name's Failure Gaming, I I think that's what the channel's called but his name is Belier that's why I know him as, and um he does a lot of World of Warcraft videos I have been subscribed to him for forever now, but him and his team self funded or I mean the people that love World of Warcraft kind of funded like the fans of World of Warcraft kind of funded this as well, but let's just say self funded an add on that would completely reformat the quest given experience they did their own little like voiceovers to everything going on so you can you know have dialogue on every single quest and they were going to call it the tales of warcraft or something like that and it was going to be so cool and i was so hyped for it but unfortunately blizzard shut them down blizzard said they could not do it because they're in a sense changing the game and making it their own using their game so it's so it's kind of like a copyright type thing in a way. But that sucks. Like I was looking forward to that. And they're going to release a new chapter every single month or every yeah, that was going to be dope. All right, we're at candle. We got to choose our reward. I'm just going to pick the one that sells for the most. It's going to be this one. Already 50 quests, really? There we go. That's going to be level 12. You just drop on those thugs. Back here behind the little thing. Little house. Little hut. Whatever it's called. You got to hurry back to the, the cottage. My man, two shoot got shot, yo. He got got. Alright, so we're going to go to Farmer Saladin. If you're gonna ask me like how far I think I'm actually gonna get in this Iron Man challenge, I would probably say I, I think I'm gonna get the like I think I can get the Outland. Now once I'm in Outland, I really don't know because it's so tough and when until you get gear in Outland and I don't know. But I think I can get the Outland, which is like level fifty eight for those of you that don't know. What can I do for you? So we're gonna kill these watchers, go get this quest inside here. Can I help you? Be careful. Alright, so we're gonna grab this okra. We're gonna get some gourd tusk flank, which is the pigs. We're gonna get some flesh ripper meat, which is the birds. And then uh, we also have to kill ten of these watchers. So let's get started on that. We need to sell some stuff. We're, our bags are full. Yeah, they're filling up. One more slot. I think it's the last guy we have to kill here. And then we just have to kill these guys and the Gortus. Well, we have to grab their loot. Also, guys, tonight I'm going to be playing some Fortnite on stream. So if you want to watch that, make sure you tune into that. Because this video is going up the day that I'm currently recording it, so that'll be really fun. I'm gonna be playing some duos. We're gonna try to get 10 wins on the night. I'm gonna be playing with Wappy D. I might even play some squads. I think we're gonna. It's gonna be duos and squads. So uh, be sure to come check that out. Inventory is full. I'm on the road to 50 followers on Twitch. Hell no. We got a rare elite right here. We're gonna make sure we kill this guy because it's gonna give us hella XP. Hella. Right now I'm at 47%. Just tagged him. One more hit here. There we go. Gave me about almost 20%. Let's go ahead and throw some of this stuff out because I want to sell this stuff just because it is green. You can't use professions, which sucks. There we go. Level 13. It's kind of easy, huh? Alright, so we just got mind vision. Let's go ahead and just... I don't know, we can put this like over here. Because I'm not really going to be 
needing that too much. Greetings. Be careful. Need help? Have a good one. All right. Let's go ahead and go do this quest right here. The It's Alive quest. It's going to give us a decent chunk of XP. All we have to do is go up to a dead overloaded harvest golem here. And we are just going to charge it up with the watcher heart. And we're going to run over here to this farm and we have to chop down 25 of these energized harvest reapers. Sounds crazy, sounds like a lot, but not when you're OP like this. One shot. Three, four, all right, it was super fast mode on. Kind of looked like my South Park playthrough, huh? If you guys have not checked out that series, I recommend it. It is hilarious. Not me. I'm not hilarious. I'm just dumb. But a lot of the stuff that goes on in the game, if you like South Park or you just like comedy, dude, go watch South Park. It's crude humor. It's funny as hell. A lot of weird stuff going on. A lot of unexpected weird stuff going on. Alright, 23 to 25, should be able to finish it up right here. Now here's a little glitch, it's not really a glitch. So because my latency, so you don't have perfect latency so that, since this is a server. So here's the thing that's going to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this, it's going to give me a little boost. And about here, it's going to try to tell me to turn around. But I should get off another one, and I do. Yeah, so the latency gonna allow me to come all the way up here with that with that little harvest golem just because of the lag it, like I it should have ejected me back there in a perfect world in a perfect server where I have zero ping it would have well taken me out right there Light but because it did not give us a faster route here so next up we gotta go to Sentinel Hill which is a very nice place in this game used to be very nice they made it I don't know kind of cataclysm was an expansion with a big dragon that kind of destroyed everything so they're kind of rebuilding but we're here so welcome to Sentinel Hill and I do believe that's Argus I haven't played 7.3 the newest expansion which I mean this is 7.3 but I haven't played it like on my main account my main character so I do not know if that's Argus I believe it is over here and attacked already I'm going to go ahead and get a heal off just in case Shadow Ward Pain should kill him and it did I need to heal low health I'm going to go ahead and heal full then shield don't freak out I got this I'm a professional trained Shadow Ward Pain that guy so he should die That's the only problem with priests. You can't have people up in your face. So you really need to like, I don't know, you just gotta watch yourself. That's not an upgrade. I thought that was, a, wait, that's an upgrade. Hold on. That's an upgrade. Let's take that. Shit. Heal full. Yeah, I'm gonna kite this guy. I didn't mean to attack him.
this is bad. This is really bad for me. Oh my god. I don't know why they're all attacking me. I really don't. I want to say, like, I know what I'm doing here. Because, I mean, I'm kiting. But, like, they're... I'm not even targeting anyone else. Somehow, all of them just aggro to me. I'm still low on health. Should be good, though. Holy shit, dude. I don't know what to say. That was scary. That was really scary. I did get an upgrade for um, damage, though. Damn, bro. All right, now we need to feed all these homeless people. All right, it should be 18, 19, 20 right here. There we go, did both those quests. I'm at 63%. Small chance this might level me. It's gonna put me really close, if anything. All right, I have to kill one more Mystic and I gotta kill Django Spot Hide, which is this guy right here. I'm gonna go ahead and kill this Mystic. Should be pretty easy. Yeah. All right, now Django Spot Hide, 1v1, let's go. Django spot hide is down. GG's to my opponent. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna find Agent Kernan. This quest actually might be very scary because there is a chance that I can get hit really hard in here and die like really fast. If this is what I'm thinking about. I think it is, yeah. I'm, there's a definitely a chance in here where I can die. Like, r really, really fast. So, this guy's level 13 elite. See you around. So, look. These guys are 13 elite. Which just means, if, if you don't play this game, 13, 14 elite. So, that means that they are stronger than the average level 14. I don't know what the elite actually means, but it's just they're a harder mob. So they're all elites. So I'm going to have to Yeah, I'm going to have to just run in here, use this potion. Go ahead and go invisible and then get this done. So if at any point I come out of this there are people around me. I will die because the only help I have is if I'm outside. If I'm outside, then Agent Kern will shoot them because she's a sniper. So she will shoot them and one shot them. But if I'm inside here and for some reason invisibility goes away, I'm dead 100%. So I just have to eavesdrop on these people. All right, so we just did that part. Now we have to get out of here with our lives. So we should be good to go. I just took some fall damage right there. We should be all right. I'm gonna walk out here. This is gonna go away. Yep. He's gonna come after me and watch. He's gonna get sniped. Please, Agent Kern. Boom. Oh, by the way, those are not friendly, so do not jump in that. Well met. Safe travel. All right, now we're gonna go back to Sitno Hill. And here we are back at Sitno Hill. What can I do? For you? I, I think I just said heal. Be careful. Not really sure. Grab that. Alright, so we need 3,000 more XP. Roughly. 
and we get 3,000 XP right here. So that's going to put us one kill away from level 15. So let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do, like before, I'm just going to get rid of these. Owen Forest. Don't really worry about that one. Alright, we're gonna worry about this one. Alright, so we're gonna make our way on over to Red Ridge Mountains. And here we have it. Watch well Captain done. Parker. Go with honor, friend. It's gonna be level fifteen. For the Alliance. All right, and that'll do it for this episode, guys. Episode two of the Iron Man Challenge. We just finished Westfall. And if you guys do like this series, leave a like on it. Let me know if you want more. Um, I think this is a, I'm going to cut this down. I, I don't know how much I recorded. All right, so this was about an hour long. The other one was about an hour and a half, and I just kind of cut that one down. The other one should be longer just because I had to create a character and do all that. But this one should be a little shorter episode-wise. I'm going to try to make 20 to 30 minutes, maybe 15 to 30 minutes. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been your boy Jay Tizzle, and I'm out.